So do you want to create a report navigation in Power BI and do not know how? Don't worry, I got you covered. Stay tuned and I'll show you in a second. Okay, so my name is Ruth Pozuelo from Curva.com and today I'm going to show you how to create a report navigation in Power BI. This is something that you've asked me quite many times regarding the Power BI report I did for the FIFA World Cup. If you don't know what that is, all the information is in the link below. You will be able to see how I created the report and you can download it also if you want to. But uh, for those of you that know, I want to know how I created that navigation. Just uh, stay tuned, I'll show you in a second. Also, I'm going to talk about mobile reports. I've wanted to create a mobile report for the FIFA World Cup. I think it just made sense that you would actually have the report on your phone. You know, you are in the bar and you want to see how the other matches are going or whatever it is. And for the tablet, it definitely works. For the phone, I just couldn't do it. And I'm going to show you why I couldn't do it. And uh, I will pack that feedback and send it to the Power BI team and hopefully they can do something about it because this is something that happens to me all the time. But I'll show you at the end. Let's just start with the report navigation, okay? And I'll see you at the end. Okay, so let's see how I did the navigation on this uh, report. You've been asking me quite a lot, so uh, let's, let's do it. Let's uh, get it over with so you can rebuild it if you want. So um, we have six tabs. I didn't show in the video the team tooltip, but anyhow, we have six tabs. This is a summary, standings, players, matches, knockouts. So if we go to the summary, the idea for this is uh, to create the first page where you can set up the navigation or the filters for the rest of the report. And these icons are made this big because I was thinking doing a mobile report just, you know, for the uh, tablets, which works as is, but even for the mobile. I'm going to show you at the end of the video how is that not, how that's not possible. And, you know, hopefully that will be some feedback for the, I will send this as a feedback for the Microsoft team uh, of the mobile report. Um, let's see. Uh, so the idea is you click on one of the filters and then you can actually click on this. These are buttons. You can click on here, standings, and it will keep the filter. You see that it keeps the group C. And then if we go back, which we can do on that one, it will go back to the first page. So how did I do that? Let's turn on the bookmark pane. So I don't have that many bookmarks actually. I have Standings, players, matches, and uh, <laughs> this is say knockout. It doesn't say it. So standing players, matches, knockouts um, with no filters. And then I have a home button that takes or a home uh, bookmark that basically takes you back in here. And then I have the standing players, matches, keep filters. Okay, perhaps I should delete them and do them again. What do you think? L let me delete them and I come back. Okay, so I've deleted the um, the bookmark so we can do it from scratch and you can see how it was done. This is a button. So if I go here to home or if you go here to the visualizations, you can see this is a button. This is a blank button. So I just wrote a text, as you can see. Uh, put it there. And the button text says standings, which is what you can see here. I haven't had any, you know, states for the button because lack of time, basically. And I think it works anyhow. So, so what we need to do for this button to work is to have an action associated with it, okay? And what we wanted is that the filters are kept. So if I select something in here, I want that filter to be kept when I click on standing. So for that, I need to create a bookmark on the standing page. So what we will do is to add a bookmark. We call it a standing keep filters and what you do is you uncheck data 
okay so if i have you know if i click a uh, filter here and then i go to this bookmark it will still keep the filter so if we go to summary i need to set up that bookmark in there so i will go there action stand and keep filters and that's it so let's remove this one and now we test it we go we click on b remember that to click here you have to uh, control click right it says here control click so i control click on standings and it keeps the filter which is exactly what we wanted now i want to be able to reset the filters so for, to do that you just uncheck the filter and create a button or a bookmark without any filters on and this is standing no filters and that's it here this is another button so what you need to do is to associate that so now let's try it i click on b i control click on the button and that disappeared right so it's as easy as that this should take me home so what i need to do this is home i need to add a bookmark call home do i want to keep the filters i don't know that is a design decision let's keep let's keep the filters so if i am here and I click group B and then I have to associate these with our home button I haven't done it yet and I control click you have to control click it will keep the B you can decide okay when you go home I know you shouldn't keep any filters and then you remove this data thing so this is basically how the navigation works and then you will do the same for players for matches and for not for knockout you don't need it because there is no need to have filters in here okay so let's talk about mobile reports i really wanted to have a mobile report it makes sense right but a really mobile design report and uh, every time i try to do a mobile report i realize that is not possible it, oh it just makes me sad let me show you so what i wanted to do you go here to view and then you click from layout the first thing you will see is that if you have a background image, which we have, you will get distorted, of course. And that's fine, but we should be able to change it. So it's such a, such a pity that we can't. So right off the bat, it's just not possible unless you have like a completely black or blue background. But even if I have a blue background, you see that this is distorted. So it's great that we can have more visuals but it's just not useful now when it comes to visualizations the only visualizations you can pick is the ones that you have created on that tab and i think that is a shame too a mobile report it should be designed for mobile and something that you've made for a desktop or tablet doesn't necessarily mean that you want it on a mobile maybe you just want to have a few things here and there of the entire report so having this available is just not useful. Other thing is when you have white text, you know, the only thing you, you have to have black background, which is fine if we could change the background, but we can't, which makes it also annoying. When it comes to visuals, you know, I would like to have a filter visual made for mobile. This is not made for mobile, for tablet you know yes you can put your finger but it's not like you know on the iphone i don't know how it's on androids that you can actually have this scrolling thing probably it's the same on android it, it works like super nice i would like to have that for filters on a mobile report i would like to have mobile visuals for you know mobile reports and we don't have them so it's just not possible to create mobile reports and Every time I tried, I've failed miserably. 
So my top wishes for the mobile team, be able to make backgrounds, be able to have at least filters that are used for or fit for mobile. This, this is just not good enough. It just doesn't cut it. Be able to check background, change backgrounds and be able to create new filters for new visuals for mobile and have all the visuals that are available in report for the mobile. Not just for that tab. I don't want to have tabs like I have in here. I just want to have a scroll and maybe create some navigation and stuff. And yeah, until that happens, I won't be able to create mobile reports. Okay, so I hope this was useful and you know now how to create report navigations in Power BI. Um, regarding the mobile reports, I'm just curious. What do you think? Do you have any feedback too? If you have any feedback, let me know in the comment box and I will bundle everything and send it to the Power BI team the best way I can. Um, I think it's such a shame. I love mobile. The fact that you can do mobile reports, but just the tools are not there yet to do it. And they have done some amazing things that I was planning to show you. Q&A, you know, how to ask questions with your voice. They have drill through and drill down and they have all these advanced features, but the possibility to create a Power BI report is just not there. Not for me, at least. But I'm curious to know if what you guys think about it. If maybe you don't have the same issues as I do. But uh, yeah, this is all for today. And I'll see you again on Friday with another DAX Fridays, of course. Uh, it's going to be an interesting DAX Fridays. So stay tuned. Take care. Bye.